Amen. Praise the Lord. This is another edition, the last of the series of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 31. Praise the Lord. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section. Amen. And subscribe for your glory. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 30. One verse one reads the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that is mother, his mother taught him. Amen. Praise God. Please bear with me. Chapter, I mean, verse two. What, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what? the son of my vows give not thy strength unto women nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings amen verse 4 it is not for kings or o Lemio, or is it not for kings to drink wine nor for princes strong drink lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of thy affiliate afflicted of the afflicted verse 6 give strong drink unto them that is ready to perish and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts verse 7 let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more verse 8 open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of thy of all such as are appointed to destruction amen Verse 9, it says, Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Verse number 10, Who can find a virtuous woman, for her price is far from ruins. Verse number 11, The heart of her husband do us satisfy. Safely, I mean, do safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. Let me read that one more time. Verse 11, the heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Praise God. Verse number 12, she will do him good and not evil all the days of their life praise god verse 13 she seeketh wool and flax and worketh, worketh willingly with her hands 14 she is like the merchant's ships she bringeth her food from afar Amen. Verse number 15. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. Amen. Verse 16. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. Amen. Verse number 17. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her cradle goeth not out of night, out by night. Number 19. She layeth her hands to the spindle 
in her hands hold the the distress the staff amen verse 20 she stretched she stretcheth out her hand to the poor yea she reacheth forth her hands to the needy verse 21 she is not afraid of the snow for her household for all her household are clothed with scarlet verse 22 she maketh herself coverings of tapestry her clothing is silk and purple amen purple is royalty her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land she maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchants verse 25 strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come amen praise god verse number 26 she openeth her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness verse 27 she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness amen verse 28 her children arise up and call her blessed her husband also and her and he praises her amen verse number 29 many daughters have done virtuously but thou excellent but thou excel excelleth them all amen verse number 30 favor is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman that feareth the lord she shall be praised amen and verse number 31 give her give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates amen praise god i just read, read to you the book of proverbs chapter 31 verses 1 through 31 amen may the lord add a blessing to the reading the hearing and most of all the doing of his words amen praise god and this will conclude the book of proverbs amen praise god hope you understand and have knowledge and have wisdom amen and with all thy getting getting understanding amen praise god